What's up guys, it's Connor with Rippin' Discs, and today we are going to do our first episode in our Zooka Kart mod series. Let's get it, Rippin' Discs. For this first episode, we're just going to simply put it together and assemble it. This is the Zuka All-Terrain Cart, and there's a lot of Facebook groups out there where they mod these things out like crazy and just show all the cool things that they do to them. So I'm going to be doing that to this and making different episodes, every single mod I do to it. So yeah, let's just get right into it. Okay, so we got everything unpacked and basically what it comes with is the disc holder, so what you set your disc on, the disc rack, the wheels, axle, cup holders, the bag, and then the cart itself. So the first thing you're going to want to do is it comes with these Velcros that attaches the bag up here. So you just want to undo these and Velcro them right to the top right here and I'll get going on that. Nice and easy. Sweet. Okay, so basically what you're going to want to do is just take this zipper right in the front and it's nice and simple. You just unzip it all the way, and then you just zip it right here. At least it's going to be nice and snug on there. Oh yeah, that's really nice. Velcro that, and then you Velcro the top right here. Do the same thing with the other side on the front. They have these Velcro spots on the back. Velcro them tight to this back little pad right here. The next thing that you're going to want to do is attach the wheel and you're going to want this down here, then the wheel, and then the spacer. And there's a little insert right to the bottom that you just go through. And I'll pop out the other side, stick the spacer on, there we go. So you're going to want to keep your wheels pretty tight. And so you tighten the knobs and after you tighten the knobs they give you an allen key. And they have a set screw in them so that you could tighten these on each side, so I'm going to do that real quick. And then that makes sure that your wheels aren't going to fall off while you're playing and the knobs aren't going to fall off. Just keep your wheels nice and square. Nice and square. Nice and round is what you're going to want. So next we're going to talk about the handle and basically you just loosen this up and then you can tighten that wherever you want but there's this little stop right there and so you're going to want to stop before that just to keep your whole system stable. So then after you have this tightened where you want it, you simply just pull this up and then there are these knobs that click in right here. And you don't want to go past, there's another thing that says stop, you don't want to go too high. So that's the highest setting. Tighten this up. And then also, the bag comes with this little key ring right here that you can attach your towels to and whatever you want, so that's cool. Next we're going to insert... Whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay, next we're going to put these on, super easy. Oh, just take off these screws, come right off. After you've got those screwed in, it's pretty cool, these are adjustable, so you can push these in and then screw this tighter down here so it makes the cup holders whatever size you want. Last thing we're going to do is insert this frame, and it's pretty simple. There's this little pocket up here. Simply just push all that into and it has this little space right here so that you can put stuff in the back of your bag through the side. Pretty cool. And you put these little bars and these inserts. Okay, so once they're all in the place, you just pop them in and some of them go in easier than others, but some of them you gotta give a good pop, so we'll do that. And that's pretty much it for assembly, but I'll stick all 
my discs in there and see how many we could fit real quick and talk about that. Holds a ton of discs. I can still fit quite a few more up top. And uh, so this thing can hold a ton of discs. I think it's got five, 10, 14 discs down here, fairway drivers and drivers. And then up here we've got four mid ranges, five putters, and two drivers. I could probably fit another disc or two right there. Aside from that, these pouches on each side, they can hold two or three discs. And then you've got, I mean, I've got a putter pouch that I'll put on top of my handle too. So overall, I'll be able to fit way more discs using this and have a bunch more storage. So that's gonna be sweet. Super quickly, we're gonna go through some of the details on the bag. So you've got pocket right here with a decent amount of space. This pocket, you can put discs or cell phone, whatever. And you've got this pocket on the side where you can get to the side of your discs. And you've got this whole storage area behind where you can stick stuff. On the other side, pretty much the same layout. This pocket right here. And then this right here. I've also got this thing, you can put your cell phone or, I don't know if my cell phone fit in there, but keys, whatever, cup holders, but yeah, that's the Zuka all-terrain cart. And that is our first video that we're going to do for this series, our modding out the Zuka all-terrain cart, and if you guys have any suggestions or things that you'd like to see me do to it, let me know, but I'm going to do my best to make this thing pretty sweet, and yeah. That's it. Make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the bell notifications, and thank you guys for the support. You guys have been great, and we'll see you in the next one. Rippin' Discs.